Hello ladies and gentlemen and Samsung lovers. Today I have an amazing update to present to you from Samsung. This update is for the Galaxy Tab 2 10.1. So let's get to it. The Samsung Galaxy Tab 2 10.1 has finally been officially updated to Android 4.2.2. It took a little while, but it's here now. The update for the P5 100 just started rolling in France this week. But the other models for the Galaxy Tab 2 have been updated from about a month ago. So what's new? The first thing here is that the Tab 2 now has a tablet UI like the Nexus 7 and the Nexus 10. The notification bar is up top instead of being bottom. Now the notification bar is also transparent like the S4. As soon as you unlock the lock screen, you will get the S4 feeling, that is of course if you have ever held an S4 before. The tab does seem smoother, but there are still stutters here and there. However, as you can see, the tab has a whole new UI, a whole new interface. Even the notification bar has been totally redesigned. A lot of apps seem to be redesigned, for example the phone app is now redesigned and there seems to be new icons. The calculator app seems to be redesigned and also the small screen widget also is redesigned. The contacts, email, and gallery, and the browser, and the messaging app, and the music player all have been repolished and updated. Even the movie maker has new themes. Oh, and did I mention that we have new wallpapers, all from the S4? And did I mention how really beautiful they are? Excellent choice, Samsung. Okay, so let's move to the new features. The notification now is expandable. And also, not only that, you can customize the notification toggles. So here you can see that you can basically drag these over and customize the notification bar that's great and very useful and now there are two features that are available on newer samsung devices smart stay and driving mode okay so you can enable smart stay from the notification panel or from the settings in the display options now smart stay basically uses the camera to detect your eyes so as long as you look at the screen it won't close so basically, if you don't touch the screen, the screen also will not time out. Now that is a wonderful feature for reading. As you can see here, this is the Smart Stay icon. Same as Smart Stay, Driving Mode can also be enabled from the notification panel. Now when enabled, you can read out the incoming message and it reads out also the caller's information and reads out the alarms information too. Samsung also added new features in the Samsung keyboard. Continuous input is basically keyboard swiping. You swipe and type, like Google's new keyboard and Swift key. Now, as you can see here, this is an example of continuous input. Now, this is basically really fast. As you can see here, I did not take any time to write this. No hassle, no pain, and just fast. That's it for continuous input. Cruiser input is basically swiping with the keyboard left and right to move the cruiser. Now you have two ways to move the cruiser, by touching the words or by just swiping on the keyboard. Continuous input and cruiser control cannot be enabled at the same time for obvious reasons. Of course, they're both using swiping. And finally, the Android 4.2 features. First, you have to enable lock screen widgets from the settings. Then, you can use widgets on your lock screen. So, for example, this is the music player widget on the lock screen. That's pretty neat. I can play the music without unlocking my tablet. Now. Here, for example, are a bunch of widgets, uh, widgets and um, for example, I'll put the Twitter widget. And what's really neat is that you can check the tweets on the go without unlocking your device. 
Okay, so here we're swiping through the tweets, and that's lovely. Now we're swiping through the widgets. So you can see how you can just imagine how useful this would be. Now, Samsung also added a feature from the S4, which is person message. So basically, you can type your own message on your lock screen. So whenever you unlock the tablet, you'll get the message that you typed. Screen lets you have screen savers like on your computer. You can choose when to do it daydream and what to daydream. Okay, so I've chosen colors and now I'm daydreaming on colors. Okay, so now I can choose whatever I want from this list. Of course, here's Google Current. Now, of course, you can download from the Play Store, okay? Uh, and I've selected photos, but I do not have any photos. That's why it's not displaying any photos. And that's it, basically. Okay, so you can download lock screen widgets from the store and also Daydream from the store. Okay, so now performance. Now, Antutu scores vary between 8,700 to 9,128. Okay, and you can see here the scores. And also, this is a graph to make it easier for you. Okay, so here's our device and here's the comparison. Okay, so now the browser test. So we'll just go to Google for now. Now, as you can see here, the pinch and zoom is quite fast. I mean, for a tablet that has 1.2, uh, has a 1 gigahertz, sorry, dual core, that's pretty fast. And you get a 434 uh, HTML5 points. Now, that's really great. I mean, even the Chrome browser does not get that. Now, okay, so let's try here a new site. So let's go to YouTube. Now, okay, you can see how it loads really fast. Let's go to the desktop view. And really, it's amazing that the browser is the best thing about this tablet, in my opinion. Now, as you can see here, okay, so let's go now to, and we're going to go to Android Police. Let's see how articles load up on this tablet. And that's surprisingly really fast. Okay, so we can see here, it's really fast. Now, Chrome is not concluded with the tablet. So I can guess why, because Chrome is a little buggy. Now, compared to this stock browser, this is really much faster. Okay, even the switching between tabs like this, it's really much more faster. Okay, so let's go to the Android side. Okay, and we're just going to load. And here's KitKat, Android KitKat. Now, as you can see here, also the tab did not take a lot of, while, a lot of time to load this site, okay? So here, here's a page that has a lot of images, okay? Now, you can see here, it loads just fine. Now, I can tell you, it may, it may slow up, of course, but uh, you can see it's, it's really good. Okay, so, and also there is a new, okay, there's something here, okay? Um, there's the reader button above. Now, we're, we're just going to press it right now, okay? Now, this reader button summarizes the text. Okay, that's great. And that's it for the browser. Now here's an ad for the feature that has been removed, which is multiple user accounts. Now, I thought it was going to be removed because the device hardware, it's just, I don't think it, it supports it. And even if CM or Sanjim mode does support multiple user Alpha. accounts for this device, it's really buggy. I've tried it. It doesn't load fast and it's not a nice experience to have. So, enjoy this ad. Thank you very much for watching this video. This was an in-depth review of the new Galaxy Tab 2 update. Now, please subscribe and like my video. And when I reach 100 subscribers, I'll be doing I'll be doing a giveaway, which will be truly something great. Now, for example, I might do an Amazon gift card giveaway. So please subscribe. And thank you very much again for viewing this video. And don't forget to comment in the comment section below and have a good day.